Hi guys, it's currently the 27th of January and in two days I have my flight for London so that means that I have to do my COVID test beforehand because they just like recently announced it that it's a requirement so that is what I'm gonna do now I have just literally booked an appointment in like 30 minutes I'll let you know how everything goes and yeah I guess it's just a vlog showing my trip from my hometown to London and settling in and yeah enjoy I am back from my tests I'm gonna see my results right now I think they're up yeah I have a negative result I can go to London now so yeah that's good news don't have to unpack my bag which is there I am almost like done with packing it because tomorrow a delivery guy is gonna pick it up and he's basically like driving to London that's how delivery works and the small one I'm gonna take just as a carry-on on my flight so it's a bit later so apparently my economics exam results are out as well I don't know what why today is reacting to results day I should be nervous but like when it comes to like online exams I'm never nervous about the results not because I don't care because I do but it just seems so casual to just like check it online I don't know if you know what I mean let's just check it and hope I didn't get up I got 73%! That's so good! I was actually not expecting that. That was just a fun intermission. Well, off she goes. Hi guys! Hi guys! We are walking uh, around the forest. Look, there's so much snow. <laughs> yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah, and Aniela came over to say goodbye because she's yes. staying in Poland. Yes. And she has red hair now. And a septum as well. <laughs> Bye, guys! Bye! Bye. I literally was in the same outfit the last time I left and I said goodbye to my dogs and it's all the same My flight is not in, it's in like four hours, so I have three hours to just like chill here. I mean, more like do some work than chill. Um, and yeah, when I was sitting in the train going from uh, Warsaw Central Station to the airport, I was just smiling and like playing my Cyrus bobs and I was just vibing so much. And I guess I'm just really happy to be going back. So eventually not only was the boarding postponed, we also had to wait for an hour in the plane and then eventually when we thought we were about to take off, they had to defrost the plane. They literally had to defrost the plane. I guess I'm back. This feels unreal. It's normal that I would like return to London at some point, but I don't know, just because of like COVID and stuff, it just seems surreal, like it would never happen. 
oh the water's still running there aren't that many people like the accommodation is pretty much deserted but this was just like my home for two months and then i left and like didn't come back for a month and a half so like you have to understand my confusion but anyways i'm gonna go to the stores now i just wanted to leave my bag because i have not nothing to eat and i'll have to self-isolate so that's the best thing to do probably um and i need to call my mom obviously so i'll see you later i guess time to unpack even though i just have my small suitcase on me i just went to the stores with bay it was fun but guys london is so deserted right now <laughs> like unpacked and guess i can just chill for the evening i'm gonna be honest with you it feels weird to be back and i already like explained it to my mom and claudia over like the phone but because i was in london for two months and it was just like this whole experience i had and i didn't come back here that time i was supposed to it really feels surreal to see everything be back as it used to be but it is different because most of the people aren't here and i know that the people are what made this place so special not only people obviously i love london on its own but they were what gave this place such a homey feeling so quickly most of my friends aren't back yet obviously i'm in contact with them and most of them are planning to be back in like two three weeks but still right at this second it's just kind of lonely and i know i shouldn't maybe say that because i wanted to go back so badly and i really am glad to be back like I don't regret my decision and I know like when I wake up and the sun is out then it's gonna be fine but just just this evening feels weird I just really hope that the next two months will be maybe not like crazy fun because the lockdown's on and all of that but that it's gonna be a good time I'm, I'm gonna have here and I'm gonna study a lot and go to the library go get coffee with my friends what I'm saying is I'm gonna have to get used to this new London sort of because as i'm saying this, the the two and a half months i've spent here they were just so like different from my whole life it just seems like a bubble there was it was this experience in my life and then i returned back home and it just started seeming more and more distant in a way and now i'm back and it, that's what feels weird that i am able to actually be back and this is what my life is gonna look like i'm just gonna keep going home and back to london man it's all just covid we know that like if, if covid didn't exist then i would be back here all my friends would be here because we would go to normal university it would be just so normal yeah i'm i'm sorry that i'm ending this vlog on such like a depressing note i am gonna vlog the next week probably because it's just gonna i'm just gonna vlog myself in isolation because what else is there to do besides studying so there's gonna be a lot more content but also i hope it's not that boring because this vlog what even is this vlog like i did nothing in this vlog besides like pack and travel and unpack you can let me know if ouch <laughs> If these sorts of vlog like if you enjoy them because maybe they're not like as exciting and fun and there's not that much happening as in my normal london vlog there's gonna be a lot more of just me in my room talking to the camera <laughs> which makes me feel less lonely for sure i don't know if it's that like interesting to you but actually like last thing i wanted to tell you i'm reading this book right now you probably saw me reading it like five times at 10 different locations tonight because I've just been like entertaining myself with this book. It's called um, Uneducated by Tara Westover. The thing is like, I love reading, but I can't take too much of it at one time. I usually like read 30, 50 pages a day and that's like enough for me. But this book guys, it's just so interesting. If you're not interested in like books and you can like skip or turn off this vlog. It's about this girl who was brought up in a Mormon household and her parents never allowed her to really go to school she didn't attend school till she was 17 um, when she went to university this book is basically her biography it's written by her the story is just fascinating 
and it really opens your eyes towards education in general because I think education is something we just take for granted because most of us I guess have access to it in some shape or form like all of us went to school probably you really like hear stories of people who didn't like go to school and to see how much a person is affected by not having access to like the outside world all of her knowledge of the outside world came from her parents so whatever they told her most of them are like religious um, beliefs she believed to be true so that it, it's just so interesting so like if you can get your hands on it please do i mean i haven't finished it yet but i've read a huge chunk of it today maybe like almost 200 pages which is like unusual for me <laughs> but yeah that's what i wanted to tell you i guess this is it for this vlog thank you so much for watching and for supporting me i'll see you in the next video bye